Welcome everyone, you have the Pixel 8 Pro uh, to transfer data from your old Google Pixel. The first step is your Pixel 8 Pro must be on the setup screen. To check this, if you wake the phone, you should see here, welcome to your Pixel. This is the setup screen. However, if you see the home screen here and you have the lock screen, then we will need to factory reset our Pixel 8 Pro. To do this, we're going to start by opening up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here, System. You are then going to locate a Reset Options and then Erase All Data. You are then going to tap on Erase, enter in your login, and then Erase one more time, and we'll wait for the factory reset. Once your Google Pixel has the welcome screen, we're going to tap on Get Started, and then we see here, set up using another device. On your old Pixel, you should see this screen. And we're going to tap on the setup option and your old pixel will connect to the new 8 Pro. We now need to scan the QR code. So I'm going to do that one now. And once it's scanned, we need to enter in our biometrics. Now the Wi-Fi network and your Google accounts will be moved from your old pixel to your new 8 Pro. If it's asking here, connect to mobile network. This is eSIM. So if you need to download an eSIM, tap the download and then scan a QR code. It's also recommending if you don't use eSIM to insert a SIM card now, but this can always be done later. So I'm going to tap on skip and then skip. And then it's going to ask us to set a pin. And so this is recommended. So I will enter in a pin and then verify the pin like this. Fingerprint unlock. If you're coming from an old pixel, the fingerprint, they house on the back of the phone or in the power button. But on the new 8 Pro, the fingerprint sensor is under the screen. So if we scroll down and we tap on agree and then start, you can see we need to hold the phone in the screen and you just need to scan your thumb or finger and just move your thumb slightly every time you're scanning. So it scans as much of the thumb as possible. Get prepared because this under display sensor has a lower success rate at unlocking your phone than the uh, back of the fingerprint sensor. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if in the future you are having fingerprint issues, just add another fingerprint. Uh, you can do that always in the settings. But I'm not going to do that for now. So I'm going to tap on next. And face unlock. You may want to set this up as well. So if the fingerprint isn't recognized, it will recognize your face. Let's scroll to the bottom and we can agree or not. I'm personally going to select no thanks for this one. Now we see copy data from Android. We're going to tap on next. And now it's going to essentially check what files are on our old pixel, which can be moved to the new 8 Pro. It is now asking to choose what we want to copy. And so if you tick or tap the tick, you can select or unselect. And I will show you how long it will take for the transfer. And if you tap on the name of an object, such as apps, you can go in and tick or untick and be more precise. So for this video to move faster, I'm going to turn off apps and photos. And you can see it will just take three minutes to transfer. And if I select these two, you can see half an hour. So I'm going to turn these two off, 
but in your case I'll just have everything on so everything is moved and then we'll tap on copy with WhatsApp it may ask you to scan a code from your old phone to your new one and if it doesn't in the WhatsApp app itself there'll be instructions on how to move all of your chats as the Google data transfer will not do that automatically in Google services if we want a backup we can leave this on but I personally turn this one off as there is a storage limit and location apps need to ask for uh, permission for your location so I'd recommend you leave this one on but if you want you can turn it off and scanning this allows Google to get your location when your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is unavailable and I personally turn that one off because it means Google can know your location even when you're offline and diagnostic data I turn that one off and if we scroll to the bottom we can now accept warranty this just shares your warranty information we'll tap on next and continue setup this just goes further with Google Pay using the assistant I'm personally going to select leave but if you want those features tap continue additional apps I'd recommend you have these all selected but you can always unselect any app you don't want and then we'll tap on ok now you can see it is doing the data transfer and patiently just leave both devices next to each other and wait for this transfer to finish we now see Copy and stun. Uh, we'll tap on none. We see swipe to navigate, and this will just give you instructions on how to use swipe gestures. I'm going to tap on skip. And if you swipe up, it will you know set swipe gestures as the default. But if your old Google Pixel used the buttons, then you may want to keep the buttons. And uh, to do this head to swipe navigation settings and then set button navigation and then we'll go home and so if I close on the old pixel you can see the wallpaper was transferred if I go to the messages uh, you can see all the old messages have also been transferred as well from the uh, old pixel you can see they're all the same and excellent everything has been transferred just check that the accounts are signed in and if you're not signed into an account you may need to re-sign in just do all that before you factory set your old pixel with that being said if you would like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye